Massa Guitar Fret. My name is York. Today we're going to do something that's been done probably, but we're going to do it a little different. I'm going to show you how to practice the pentatonic, the minor pentatonic scale uh, with a little bit more fun. Okay? What we're not going to do is we're not going to go over the five position of the minor pentatonic scale because that has really been done many times so you can easily find a lesson to do that. But I have included a link to a diagram of the five positions so you might be able to study them before you start with this. Okay, uh, this is basically very simple. I'm going to include a link to a backing track. We're going to practice over a backing track in A. In A only, it's a one chord backing track. And this way, you know, we're going to stay in that A key and we don't have to worry about any changes. Uh, I'm going to show you a few ways to play this, but you can create your own pattern based on the speed you want to go. Okay, I will show you a few. So let's go have a look at the demo. exercises I use alternate picking. This means that I'm using both sides of the pick and if you go right here I have a link to another lesson of how to hold your pick for these types of exercises. Okay you might want to check that out. So let's see what we did. Okay so basically we play the five patterns an easy way to remember where they start is if you play the pentatonic, the minor pentatonic scale horizontally, it looks like this. That's basically it right there. The first pattern obviously starts at the root of the A. And then the next pattern starts at C. Right? That's the second note. And then the third pattern starts at D. The next pattern, the fourth pattern, starts at E. And the last pattern starts at G. It's a good way to remember. And of course you want to really get the pattern of each of those uh, minor pentatonic scales into your brain. Okay, so study them and play them over and play them over. Now what did we play here? So we basically played this. And then we made a little bit of a vibrato on the, on the root. So A, we went from A to A. And we played that minor pentatonic. Penta means five. One, two, three, four, five. And then of course the six is the root. And then we play this again. We always play root to root. So the first position is obviously A to A. And then back up. And then the second would start right here at C. So we go C to C. Back 
Rebecca. And then so on and so on. Start with one, maybe start the first position, that's the easiest. And then do one position at a time, always over this backing track. And of course, if you're just learning, we can play it slower. Basically, you pick the speed you want, okay? You can be creative with that. Listen to the backing track and just pick the notes as fast or as slow as you want. So here are some other cool patterns that you can do. And we're gonna just do that in the first position. Okay, let's have a look and see exactly what we did here. We go to the fifth note, we play all five notes. Then we go back to the seventh fret A string. Okay, and then we start this all over again, but this time we're going to start on the fifth fret on the A string. Okay, so again we play five. One, two, three, four, five. Back. Then we play the D five. Then we play the uh, G five. And then we do the same thing back up. Okay. Then we go from the B5, G5, D5. And of course, there's all kinds of different patterns you can do, but that's a really cool one. Okay. So here's a pattern for beginners, slow. You could also play just a normal pentatonic scale over this backing track. But here's a little exercise for somebody that's just starting out. We'll take it nice and slow. <laughs> Let's see what we've done here, okay? So we go, we start with the root. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three, four. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. So the first four notes that we play are E5, E8, A5, and A7. Pause. Pause. Then we play D5, uh, D7, and G5. Pause. And then we play. Then we play G7, B5, and B8. Back up, we go on the root note on the 5th high E string, B8, B5, and G7. Pause. The next segment is the G5, and the D7, D5. And then the next segment is A7, A5, and E8. And then it starts again with the root note. And pause. 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 So 
So that would be a pattern for beginners, nice and slow. Okay, so the key is obviously that you go with the beat. Okay, wherever you place your note, make sure you're on the beat. And working with the backing track will help you stay in the beat of the song. So whether you go slow or fast, that doesn't matter. Okay, I hope this brings a little bit more joy to your scale exercising. Uh, these scales are really important, uh, especially when you start soloing. And we're going to explore, I'm going to show you how to uh, connect this, these different positions in a few videos down the road. And uh, because it's a lot of fun when you're going to be able to kind of move around in the different positions and, and create some licks in different positions because it's changing uh, the sound and the feel of the uh, underlying blue solo or the underlying solo. All right, so practice hard and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.